totally ping. All right, shall we go to the platform? Yeah, let's go to the platform. Oh, All right. Epic, epic. So, I will say that one of the things that I loved about uh, Minecraft was the redstone. But there were two problems with it. One, it was... Okay, let's just be honest. It was a pain in the butt to set up initially. And, and two... It gets in the way. It was just too freaking big. It's too big, yeah. yeah. It gets in the way of everything. Well, problem solved. Yep. Period. So, and we've set up this little demo area. Um, by the way, uh, Raya, yep. I've put a bunch of the new stuff underneath this one. So, uh, Tom's... And lights is... under this one. Yeah. All right. In case you wanted some. All right, as you have set this up, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna, I'll watch. You go ahead and explain it as best you can, because you know what's going on. You, right. you Thanks, bro. Well, basically, guys, uh, this is a bit of a mind blow. We're gonna start at the beginning. Cue we have, music. We have the linking system. This is an expansion to the existing linking system, and this is one of the new blocks, the activation module. If I push C on my activation module, and then push V, on the light and the plex door, um, as Ryben will show you now, the mm -hmm. when he when he activates it with R, the activation block, it will turn the light off and on, and obviously open the door. Okay, so activation a switch effectively activating this, and it's infinite length, just like the uh, linking system you're using currently for your weapon systems. C and V. That's all you need to know. So basically, this is the most simple use of the activation block, and that can even be expanded in many ways, just having it set up like this, okay? Yep. But we're not going to go into that, we're just going to move straight on to the next block. The next block is the delay signal, okay? The delay signal block is here, and you use a C on the activation module, V on the delay block, and then C on the delay block, and V on the blocks you want it to activate. So what this obviously will do, well, when I push the button, there will be a slight delay of about half a second before it actually turns off. And what I've done is I've set up the same thing here and here. So if we turn this one off and this one off, turn them all off, right? As you can see, that one, this one, this one, as you can see there, there's a longer delay by chaining them together. So all I've done is I've pressed C on the activation and V, then C on the delay, then V, then C on the delay, and V on the things I want to do. So that is the delay block, and obviously you can use that in many ways, and I've only spaced it out like this so it's clean, clean to, to understand. Um, yep. Now the next one, I believe this is the AND signal, okay? So the AND signal, if I activate this one, nothing will happen. If I activate this one, still nothing happens. But if I activate both of them, this is where it doesn't work, because we set it up wrong. Uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. I believe that's set up correctly though. Two activation blocks and should turn it on. Oh, there we go, it's working now. You had it off. All right, so oh, I had turn it that off. one off, that one off. So yep. when that one's on, and that one's on, it's on. Yep. When either of these go off, it goes off. And if both of them, of course, are off. So you can make a security door. It's just like an AND gate. Yeah. The regular AND gate. Yeah, there you go. So uh, there you go, that's how you use that one. Whoop. And then we're gonna move over here, and this is gonna be fun. So uh, I believe we'll do the end one first. This is, sure. the, this is the OR gate. So again, two activation blocks, you link the activation block to the OR gate, and then you link the other activation block to the OR gate, and then you link the OR gate to what you want it to activate, or a bunch of delays, or more of the other gates, you get the idea. So if you now activate either of these switches, it will open slash close the door. Doesn't matter which one, it'll just work. Beautiful. Yep. So that's easy. There we go, fixed. Right, try it. There we go. It's working now, look. Yep, it's, there's it's your AND gate, and it's flipping. Not. Not gate. So, you... Oh, yeah, not gate, sorry. Yeah. Now y'all got me. Boom. Yeah. On, and... 
yeah, closed and on. Oops. Oh, sorry, I keep Spam. doing it. Well. Yeah, we keep spamming it. <laughs> but anyway, um, there is something that I'd love to demo, which is my uh, my null pointer. I love my null pointer. Yeah. It's great. I, I do too. Basically, <laughs> the, the, the null pointer is a very easy sort of implementation of delay blocks and activation blocks. And it's really simple. It's just a pole with lights on it. And there's a making of video on the way. But here we go. So you, what we have here is a plex light and a door in front of it and a delay block behind it okay and I'll start at the beginning which is with the activation block all I've done is I've linked this activation block here with C to the delay block and then I've pressed C on the delay block and connected it to the next delay block and there's this door and this light so it's staggered so it activates this light and this door and then the next delay block, and then the next delay block does exactly the same thing, <clears throat> all the way down the line. And then when you get to the very, very end, the last delay block hooks up to the first activation module. So then what you get when you pulse it a few times, turn it on and off, is you get this lovely sort of LED effect. And by yep. putting more packets of, 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 of signal, if you will, in at one end quickly, just turning it on and off, you can actually change the pattern on this um, quite significantly. Yep, definitely. And, and like I say, just imagine uh, Knight Rider, the kit car kit from Knight Rider, the car it had the LED at the front, the Cylon spaceships, they had the red LED that bounced yep. from side to side. All of that can now be done. You can have your UFOs with your landing lights, whatever. It's all possible and there's so much more you can do I mean, we've made airlocks. That was the first thing we made with mm -hmm. lights that turn on and off. I think I've posted a picture of a spiral door setup that was done um, using this system on Reddit, and it, it was a five mm -hmm. by five spiral door, and it took five minutes to set it up. So, um, like I say, it's wireless redstone, but more like wireless computer craft. I don't know. It's getting that because it's yeah. so basic now. It's easy for this to come into. I mean, you can. I'm just, just quickly, I just want to do something for science. Um, What's that? I'm just doing something for science quick. I'm just going to, right. uh, science with Tamino, if you can see this here on the screen, okay, this is just a simple combination of gates to make more gates. Obviously, I'm not trying to give everybody some kind, because I'm not an expert, but you can easily get educated on how you can use these simple blocks together to create more advanced blocks or gates. So.